This week, I'm going to link in the description box below the coordinating videos that go with this project because we did film at the time that this project was done and we have, I think, four install videos, so you should check them out. But I'm going to take you a little deeper today into one room in this client's home. When you walk in, this is what you're dealt with. All the way around you, you've got drywall and look how thick it is. This house had some quirky things about it. It's like the architect got all excited about drywall or something. Pop outs and cutouts all over the place. It was just a crazy mess, hot mess. The living room was actually kind of nice. It was in a traditional style. Even the furnishings are quite traditional. Right here, you see where this is tile? Well, this is the entryway and it actually takes up a good amount of space. And then there was this big, huge opening into the dining room and unfortunately, a view of the kitchen. And then look over here. This is that very large but small, actually, entryway. So you can see it's very chopped up and tight spaces. The first time I met the clients, I walked in. We were like standing in the entry trying to shake hands. Totally not comfortable, not welcoming. I thought if we could make this room feel bigger, that would be a good direction to go. So the first thing I did was I demoed out this entryway, the turret, this large opening here. I felt like we needed some space for art in this room and to be able to see through to the dining room and subsequently the kitchen was not exactly our best foot forward. So I closed that wall in completely and then I made this opening slightly larger. We have painted all of the walls, cased the windows with beautiful frame-like casements. Every stitch of crown molding, base molding, built-ins, and lighting that you see in this house has been added by Rodson Design. And then we could put the piano in here and it would be tucked into this focal point built-in. This is the living room. I did what I call my favorite furniture layout and that is four chairs facing each other. And why do I do that? Well, I do it because it actually causes people to want to use their space. When you have four chairs that face each other, it's a perfect conversational area. Built-ins are like my signature thing. I love them, I use them a lot. And one of the reasons I do is because I'm crazy about accessorizing. And you can put a lot more accessories in a vertical space with shelves. But here's the thing, always light your shelves. I actually used wallpaper that was made out of grass cloth in about the same color as the piano. And what that did was that made the piano not become a focal point in the room, but recess in beautifully. Take a look at the windows, beautiful window treatments on either side rods with finials and the glass finials. Do you see the connection between the geometric pillows and the geometric fabric and the window treatments? Just kind of subtle nods to a repeated theme. I decided to go ahead and put in a chest. I found this piece on Craigslist and they wanted $600 for it. I drove to Oceanside to buy this thing. We got this piece of furniture, brought it back, put it in the house and it was too big. As Oscar was picking it up and taking it out, it fell and one of the doors shattered. And I went, oh, what a shame, Oscar. I think we need to make that into a three door chest. So that is definitely one of a kind. This was one of the first times I had Grayson actually commission a painting. It's beautiful, but you know, an original oil painting is a lot more expensive. So what I typically do, I will mix. You see, these are ready-made pieces of art that I bought, I think at Home Goods. They were very inexpensive and they offset the cost of commissioning an original painting. Look at the opening. Doesn't that look great? And I put a light up in there. Gorgeous wainscot. We did eight inch baseboard in this house and six inch crown molding. For today's episode. I hope you're watching Wedding Wednesdays. We are having so much fun. Oh my gosh, the episodes are getting great and I'm working out and I'm exhausted. 
Don't forget to sign up for the design sessions, which are amazing. Everyone is loving them. People are going nuts over them. And guess what? They are learning how to design their own homes. It's amazing. Be sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up, share the video. There's gotta be a lot of people that you know who would love to know how to decorate their homes more beautifully than they ever have before. So we look forward to seeing you next time and hearing from you right down there.